For a lot of Kanye fans, 070 Shake's feature vocals present on Ghost Town are the defining high point of Ye. In fact, after hearing how good the two sound together, I, along with a lot of other people, thought where has this artist been Kanye's entire career? Following a ton of collaboration throughout 2018, Shake and Kanye's working relationship seems to have gone dormant, so let's take a look back through everything music-wise that the two of them worked on. Before we get into the songs and creative ideas Shake and Kanye developed, let's quickly recap how the two came into contact with each other. The story goes that in 2016, Shake was seeing a decent amount of online success following a string of SoundCloud releases. During this time, she caught the attention of Miami-based producer, talent manager, and influencer Yes Jules. Jules reached out to Shake, eventually becoming her talent manager, and it was actually Jules who introduced Shake to good music. In 2016, during a Yeezy fitting session, Yes Jules played some of Shake's music, which apparently caught the attention of Pusha T, who was Good Music's president at the time. And from there, the rest is history. But it's important to remember that Shake was involved with Kanye's label a whole two years before she would pop up on Ghost Town and Violent Crimes. The first official piece of Kanye music that Shake had a hand in actually came in the form of feature vocals she recorded for the song Champions. Now this is a little puzzling because Shake's contributions are not dated, so it's unclear if she did work for the song before its release or after. Regardless, we do know that she recorded for Champions during her Cruel Winter sessions with Kanye, and it's entirely possible her Champions verses were truly intended for a remix of the song. Right now, I'm an animal. I cannot be tamed right now No time for this Don't know why I came right now I'm a champion Got too much to change right now Quite confident Pretty with the chain on now Red, blue, yellow rangers in the scene Red, blue, yellow rangers on my team Following Champions, Shake recorded for the song Face Down, also during her Cruel Winter sessions. The song was produced by Metro Boomin and Keon Christ and leaked in full on March 24th, 2022. Kanye's vocals are really quite rough and unfinished, but Shake's, on the other hand, are basically done. I think she really stands out on this beat and completely killed her delivery, so it's a shame Face Down didn't end up seeing an official release. No, no, fuck it. After the Cruel Winter sessions in 2017, Kanye pivoted his focus to developing his eventual long lineup of finished summer 2018 albums. 070 Shake lent a hand to Kanye for the song Idea 30 Mile Zone that was originally meant to be included on the album Ye. We aren't quite sure when she recorded for this song, but there is supposedly a solo Kanye version dated to April of 2018, so probably around then is when Shake contributed her work for TMZ. She recorded recorded some rough reference ideas with artist Hassan Kafaf in order to help Kanye get a better idea of which direction to take the song. We don't gotta be Before we get into Shake's Yandi contributions, we of course have to mention her involvement with the release version of Ye on Violent Nights and Ghost Town Part 1. Along with those two songs, she was featured on Nas's song Not For Radio off his album Nazir, and the track Santeria from Pusha T's summer record Daytona. Don't you grow up in a hurry, your mama be worried, oh, it was all part of the story, even the scary nights, thank you for all of the glory. Yeah. 
to see if I still bleed. I think they're scared of us. Yeah. I think they're scared of us. I think they're scared of us. Yeah. I think they're scared of us. It's the fire that I of all the things with the extremely busy summer of 2018 behind him kanye refocused his music creation efforts to projects like yandi and good ass job with chance the rapper he of course had to invite 070 shake to contribute to these record concepts and she did some phenomenal work Starting off, Shake recorded for a song titled Anxiety that we believe was meant for Good Ass Job. During this early period for the collab album, two versions of Anxiety were made, one with Kanye and Shake and one with Chance vocals. We just aren't quite sure which one came first. Song Shop www.thesource2.to after Anxiety, Shake recorded a full reference track for a song that unfortunately remains untitled. We know it was produced by Seven Aurelius and was made on June 17th, 2018, but beyond that, it's unclear if this song was worked on further, and the full thing has also yet to leak, so we are stuck with snippets for now. A few months later, in September of 2018, Kanye would have Shake record vocals for another rough song idea titled Lovely. The song was originally made on the 18th of that month and featured vocal contributions from Kanye, Aunt Clemens, and Jeremiah. After the idea was scrapped from Yandi, Kanye gave the track to Aunt Clemens for his album, which is when it seems Shake did her work on the ad libs for the song. On the 22nd of September, Shake recorded definitely some of her best Kanye song vocals with City in the Sky. The track was still in an early point when Shake was brought in, and production at this stage was still only being handled by James Royo. Shake contributed actually a ton of finished lines, but her involvement would be cut by quite a bit for future versions of City in the Sky, although her original longer uncut vocals are really quite amazing. Finally, Shake contributed her last known vocals to a Kanye song with none other than Alien. These were recorded on September 28th, 2018, and this version of Alien features the Aunt Clemens intro, followed by three long verses from Shake, and capped off with Kanye's second mumble verse. This one leaked on June 17th, 2023, and in my opinion, is some of Shake's best vocals that I've ever heard from her. I know we never officially got Alien, but it's wild to think what it could have sounded like with a bit more care and attention. And of course, with Shake's verses included.
Unfortunately, it seems following the Yandi fiasco, Shake decided to take her career in a different direction, releasing her debut and sophomore studio albums in 2020 and 2022, respectively. She now has tons and tons of individual success, but there's no denying that her work with Kanye most certainly helped skyrocket her popularity in 2018. Honestly, anything is possible, and Kanye loves to revisit old collaborators, so I would 100% not write off the possibility of these two working together again in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments which of Shake's collaborative ventures with Kanye you liked the best.